SCAL can import sections and materials from a Revit model. To import, both Revit and SCALC must be running. Start Revit and open the model you wish to import. Go to the Add-ins tab, S-Frame Software ribbon, and click SCALC 2016. This starts the Revit service. It communicates with SCALC. Leave the service running and go back to SCALC. To import, go to File Menu, Import, Revit. This will open up the SCALC BIM link. Confirm the product is set to Revit and the Revit version is correct. The direction we want is Import. Click Next in the BIM link wizard. This will communicate with the Revit service and transfer the Revit columns and beams into the BIM link. When the transfer is complete, you will see the columns and beams that were transferred in the visual editor. Importing columns and beams from Revit creates SCALC sections. Sections are created through a mapping process. There are three types of mapping, database, parametric, and polygon. Database mapping attempts to find section matches with SCALC databases. Parametric mapping transfers Revit family parameters and maps them to SCALC shape properties. Polygon mapping extracts polygon points from Revit families and then creates SCALC polygons from the points. You can see the members associated with each mapping by selecting a row in the mapping spreadsheet and looking in the visual editor. You can also select multiple rows. Unselecting all the rows will show the whole model. For each section, the BIM link will first attempt database mapping, followed by parametric mapping. If there is no database or parametric mapping, then the link will polygon map. If polygon mapping fails, the section will be marked unmapped. Unmapped sections will have to be manually defined in SCALC. Database mapping attempts to find section name matches with SCALC databases. To enable or disable database mapping, check or uncheck Use Database Mapping. In the database mapping settings, set the number and names of the databases to search. The search always stops at the first found mapping. Database mapping assigns section and parametric shape properties from the database. This has the benefit of exposing shape closed form solutions and thin wall FEA definitions. It also gives access to steel database section properties and allows you to edit the parametric shapes after import. The downside to database mapping is that it only works on steel section databases that are supported by SCALC. Parametric mapping parses a Revit name to determine a shape type and then maps Revit family properties to SCALC properties. This allows SCALC to use shape closed form solutions and thin wall FEA definitions and it also allows you to edit the parametric shape later using properties. The default parametric mappings are best guesses, however. They came from experimentation with common shapes, but it is up to you to determine if the shape type and property mappings are correct on a shape basis. You will often need to look in Revit to understand the Revit property labels. Also, look in the visual editor to ensure shape properties are mapped correctly. By default, parametric mapping is not enabled since it requires user interaction. To enable parametric mapping, click Use Parametric Mapping. Polygon mapping is done when database and parametric mappings are disabled or fail. It is a catch-all because 2D Revit families define polygons which we can extract. The downside to polygon mapping is that SCALC will not have shape closed form solutions or thin wall FEA definitions, so section properties must always be calculated with polygon and general FEA methods. In addition, because the shape is imported as a polygon, you must move polygon points in SCALC to edit the shape after import. When you are happy with the section mappings, click Import. Once the sections are imported, click Done to go back to SCALC.